Hi, welcome to a video about Arco Linux D and Budgie. There is a question of a user who says, look, uh, I have problems with Arco Linux D. Could you check, please? So why not make a tutorial about it and install it all the way, show you what uh, you need to do if you want to have a Arco Linux D version with Budgie or GNOME or etc. etc. Because it's a, some kind of a procedure and if you get to know the procedure then say oh it's not that difficult is it it is not so you go to the website you go to download you say download ISO from SourceForge you go to the website and you decide to take the two gigabyte one or the one gigabyte one and we're talking about Arco Linux D so I've downloaded already this little version little is one up about one gig it's not that little it's the ISO that we need to do to work with all right so I have everything to show you guys. Super F7, <coughs> I have here my virtual box. It's already has something already. Um, we should uh, be able to clone it, depends how long it takes. But I want to make a D this time. And we have here a one. Next, full clone. And let's see how long it takes. One minute, 30 to 40 seconds. I can easily fill one minute, 48 seconds. <laughs> so what will I fill it with? We go to home. We have four websites to help you guys. It's Arco Linux information. That's one thing. The forum for all the technical stuff. The ArcoLinux.com is for the two gigabyte ISO and the Arco Linux D that's the one we need now is for the one gigabyte so we have phases in our learning uh, path and we have uh, already uh, phase 2 XFCE open box on i3 meaning you start with the Arco Linux D you put one of them on there either XFCE either open box and either i3 you can always of course combine again but then you're actually making again the big ISO you know then phase three, you take completely different desktop environments that you never learned before. Awesome is, for instance, one thing I've never tried anywhere. It was never on any, any ISO I've ever tried, any disk drive ever could ever download. So that's uh, fun that you can use desktops or try to learn desktops you never ever used on any of those. Now the question is about this one, the budgie. So we can uh, learn about budgie in this website, Arco Linux D. And these are all budgie articles okay don't forget you have page one two and three now everything is ready you go to the choose disk image and we have downloaded it and it's here it's waiting for us and we're going to load it up and start it now this is a copy paste of something that i just uh, another tutorial i just made so i'm gonna rewrite everything erase disk because i just did the clone so a copy so it's gonna be in english that's okay for me i'm from brussels that's all right uh, you choose your your uh, keyboard quite important otherwise you're stuck with it erase disks that's what i mean so it's already something on there i'm gonna erase everything and tell them this is not arco linux but arco linux d and we're gonna put budget on it later next next now where is this budget coming from so control f getting rid of this for a uh, time a while so we need to have a way to uh, get these scripts because that's how we work we work with scripts and the scripts are here yes Arco Linux D you see we have a github.com Arco Linux with a D. If you want awesome, you need this one. If you want open box, you need this one. If you want i3, you need this one. And so on, and so on, and so on. We'll have more than 20 in, well, by the end of this year. I'm not 20. By the end of this year, that would be too much. Let's say 10 more by the end of this year. That would be even a high number. Anyway. It's uh, still for fun and 
will do as many as we like and can. So we're going to have Arco Budgie, this one. That's the one we're going to download. Dismiss. So all the scripts are on here. What you need to have. Start by installing the latest Arco Linux D installation. That's what we're doing. Download at blah, blah, blah. UK tutorials are there. Fine. Provision, the websites and the social media. Fine. So all these elements need to be installed later, starting with the 0, 100, 110, and so on. First, we need to get it. So we have to remember this URL. GitHub.com, Arco Linux with a D, Arco Budgie with a slash. Alia minus. Do, do, do. Where is it? There is it. Restart. Done. Control F. Boot existing OS. And then you type in the password you made. And there we are. Now, the first thing I always say is I don't know which part on, on the world you are. So, Mirror first, okay. First, tell the system, hey, check out where am I? Why? Where am I installed? Am I installed in Mexico? Am I installed in Japan? Am I installed in Australia? So it's going to look now for the fastest Arch servers around. That's one thing. And now you can say, update me everything. And it's always it's Arch for for a reason. I mean, cutting edge, always the latest updates. That means you need to update. <laughs> it's one or the other, can't have it both. So everything is going to be uh, downloaded. And at this point in time, we're still downloading. And now he's going to check if everything is valid in the integrity. And now he's actually installing everything or upgrading everything. So first get that out of the way, maybe that it will give you an issue if you don't do this. You need to be up to date and you need to upgrade. Because again, this is a tutorial in response of a question of a user, an Arco Linux user. So maybe, maybe, I don't know, he did not update and maybe that's the reason he has issues, I don't know. Anyway, that's my procedure. Coming in, telling, hey, I'm from the world this place here and he finds the servers around yes indeed i did make a Sardi icon update for two three icons it's already installed because of the iso we created in the iso we have the Sardi icons to make look like here yeah, a conform look and i said okay let's keep them in because we're going to install them anyway afterwards. So. so now we have to update them. Trizen as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we are. We can even delete something, I see. So if you run it again, nothing happens. So we can, if you want to, it's not uh, important. Eh? Minus R and you can get rid of VT E3. Ta -da. Yes, bye-bye. So, all right, that's that. So that's the first thing you do, update. Mirror, update, and then git clone https, you need to know, learn it by heart, github.com, arco linuxd, we are arco, and we're going to install budgie. That's it. ls cd arco, ls. Now, do this first. That's why it's number 000. zero, zero. Use all cores, make package configuration, etc. Because we told VirtualBox to use four cores of my eight. So that's what he's going to do as well. If I don't do, if I don't run this thing, he's only going to use one core. So now it's going to be four times as fast. All right. And then we're going to get our display manager and desktop.
there are things in there that I don't like and you can add at the end of the script you can add things again that you say oh, I don't want to have that like for instance GNOME backgrounds they are so well recognizable you don't want to see them anymore and so you say okay install me the GNOME package you know and the GNOME backgrounds come with it and at the end you say okay pseudo pacman minus r remove again the GNOME background and then that's that but sometimes it won't let you yeah. protection you know dependency no dependency at all but it's it's in the package so now budgie is already going to be installed just now all the rest was gnome so budgie is not really a complete desktop environment ah, we have a problem we have um, there is gnome and there is budgie and they coexist they have to be together otherwise you don't have the feeling of a complete uh, system now what's this a failure occurred and build package package on one budget does not restart building budget thing. okay so there is seems to be a problem at this point in time when you make a budgie desktop kit now if you don't uh, we could try budgie desktop without the git let's have a look what happens if I look for Trizen. let's try this one you can use yaourt you can use packer just want to try something else here budgie desktop kit is number four as you can see budgie extras git uh -huh. control C desktop so we have the community version and the AOR version and the AOR version at this point in time maybe an hour later it will not give a problem but now it gives a problem so you take number one you take, take the budget desktop and see if this one gives us problems no it does not does not it's it's already installed so these things happen um, that's a U R arch user user repository meaning a guy or a woman, you don't know, who maintains the scripts online on AOR. So anyway, we have uh, Budgie installed. Question is, and that was his question online, is, hey, I can't log in or something like that. Okay. And I said, I run number 100 and then I have a problem. I can't log in. Um, I suppose we should sudo reboot and see what happens if I just do number 100. Voila, so this is the, the ugly version of uh, Budgie, the early version of Budgie. No changes, no icons, no themes, no conkeys, no nice wallpaper. This is the, what you start with. And this is the Raven panel and everything to get out of the system. There, We have not installed anything for the sound system, so it won't work. Because we did not run script uh, 110, I think, or 120, we'll see later. But here it is. This is Budgie. It's working fine, but it's not the Budgie from Git. They're not the latest version. It's the standard version from, I don't know what, what, what repository it was, but the standard Arch repository. Anyway, it's not finished. So files, we have just, we just did this thing, 100, that's it. So we need to go to the rest, 110 and so on. So right mouse click and now the problem start, I think. Oh no, luckily it does not. Sometimes we are in a desktop environment where the right mouse click does not result in an action. So here we have, thankfully, GNOME terminal. That's of course the one we rely on because I told you, Budgie and GNOME, they work together. And this is Nautilus then. This is the file manager of no. All right. So if you want to continue, you need to run not that one, Eric. You need to run 110 to have the sound. Skipping, skipping. That's already installed. But all the rest is now also installed. 
If you don't need Bluetooth, you don't install it, but that's 120. If you don't want printers, you don't run 130. If you don't run 140, install Samba. Samba is sharing things with people over the net at your home. If you never share anything, don't install Samba. This is about looking at other people's computer, 150. It's checking out, hey, what is on their computer? So that's something else. And then we have some larger scripts that take a little bit more time. So the 200 is all the software, bunch of software that we need. 300 is a lot of software in need. But this is coming from the Arch repositories. This is coming from the AUR repositories. This is for specifically for Budgie, specifically for Budgie, but from the Arch and from the AUR. And this is th something we really, really need. This is our, all our tweaking and, and working of uh, the Arco Linux. Arco Linux packages. So some of them we need, so the black ones we need, and all the hashtag out or the blue ones we don't need. We don't need open box uh, in, in a budgie, all right? So that's what we did. We made lots of different GitHubs. So <laughs> there is the, is it again, of course. Target not found, Inksy. I wonder what happened to it. I think it moved from the the standard repositories, standard Arch repos to the AUR repo or something like that. Must be something like that. I'll check in it later. Anyway, so arrow up, that was 200. Oh yeah, probably we did not run everything because of Inksy. So what happens with errors? This thing here stops whenever there's an error and then you say, whoa, something happened, error, target not found, and it stops. But of course, everything behind Inksy did not run. So I put, an, I wanted to put an hashtag in front of it, but that was not successful. Why can I not type? Oops, I can type. Let's get rid of that. Whoa, what is that? Open with him. Okay, fine. Open with other application. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, well, yeah, Atom is beautiful, bit, bit big, maybe, so mouse pad. What did I break? Nothing yet. So, hashtag, save. So put the hashtag in front of the set minus E, meaning if there is an error, then it keeps going. But it's interesting to know that Inksy is still a problem. I will see with the E, there it is. And now it's going to install everything that's behind the Inksy. So that's important for you to know. Set minus X, it's already explained, of course, on the websites, but hey, it's now in the tutorial as well. 300, Conky Lua Archers. So if you want to have a Conky on your system that's going to be installed, you say, no, I never want to have a Conky. I hate Conkeys. It's simple. You go in here and say, I don't want to have Conkeys. If you don't want to have conkeys, you put the hashtag in front of this one. Ooh, not there, not there. Okay, that's how it works. You have here scripts. No, don't save it. You have scripts, you change the scripts, and then you can... Is this the libc++ for Discord? Yeah, continue building Discord. So Discord is going to be our a way to uh, talk to each other in a casual way. Uh, if there are issues, of course, that are technical, it has to go to the forum. But this is just, hey, everything okay, and so on. Okay. So this typical installation takes a little bit. Unfortunately, this is the bit that takes six minutes. You see, so it's uh, the libc++ thing that uh, really <sighs> takes like forever. I uh, hope, do hope we find another way to install Discord faster than building it really from scratch. But hey, for now, we'll have to live with it. Six minutes less of our lives. 
So we could do, in the meantime, by the way, we could do, we could do, open a terminal. <laughs> uh, so this was 200, 300, I guess it was 300. Huh? We could try and see if we can get 400 already in between testing, because his testing is not blocking the installer, uh, the packet Pac-Man, so we can throw these guys in between. Yes, a useful way of the time. Okay. And this is of course the main main block is the 600. 600 is Arco. So if you want to know what's Arco Linux, oh that's number 600. That's our packages and that's um, what makes Arco Arco. Done. If you want to have some funds, who doesn't? Some funds. And in the meantime, I've added also number 710, meaning if you run this one, you need to have all the fonts available for your conkeys. Because conkeys are, most of the time, they're beautiful because they have a beautiful font. What else? Auto login, please do. Don't want to be tested. I still know my password when I go to my computer. What's your login? My name is Eric. Now I have been added to the group auto login. And that's it's done. That's that's it. That's done. Then for some of us we need to have the microcode error depending on the hardware. You see this line. That's an, an, an issue. Now I don't don't need to run it here on the virtual box, but it doesn't hurt either. So that's what you do. You run it. And then the fix for the mouse cursor. We want to have the, the same mouse uh, everywhere. And with this little line, you, see, you just check out what's in here. It's just a copy paste of a file. And then uh, the Linux system knows, hey, OK, everywhere. It's not this black thing that you see now in the, in the video, but it's going to be this white thing. So we've done already a lot of elements. And then lastly, if we can, if you want, you can check out the personal folder. If that's something you can. Uh, try out, remove the GNOME backgrounds I see here. If you want to get rid of those, the LTS kernel, if you want to have that one, ZSH. So just minor things, um, just check them out. We're at 35%. In, in the meantime, everything is actually installed. It's just this one that's not installed. So, meaning. Um, can we already set? What can we already see? Do we have a tweak thing? Yep, we can have the tweaks. What can I set already? What is already installed? The Arco Botticelli Dark. The Breeze Snow. Breeze Snow, please. Ah, the icons. Okay, Breeze Snow icons. How does that look? Breeze Snow icons. No, it's not. Not really. What, 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 Sardi Mono Arched? Let's go for the new mix. Whoa, a little bit smaller. So we have now this look. We have here a blue icon. You know what to do when you see things like that. You say pseudo art code. Uh, so after this window here, we have a package that's is going to be installed and it's called hard code fixer. So I'm gonna install it now. Whoops. And so oh no. hard code fixer. And now these blue things are hash p and oh wrong password. Okay, try again. My mistake, uh, you need to be pseudo because it's going to go to the ETC share applications. That's where it's going to write stuff. And sync and hard info and one, two, four already. Four icons were not 
correct so the hard coded paths of our software engineers thank you very much so now everything is grayed out the tweaks we have to see what why is he doing that uh, another one music all right so there you go we have uh, already tweaked our system a little bit the wallpaper really sucks do we have variety already yes we do come on give me the next one oh that's nicer it's even a, a good one so you say to the favorites with this one so that's a nice one so what's this thing here that's the tweaks thing hmm. i wonder why it's looking that ugly so files other locations computer user share applications maximize that's a strange look let's open that one with a mouse pad don't see sublime text yet sublime text is not installed yet mouse pad then all the way down and all the way up here icon again they've changed the icon name org gnome music mm -hmm. okay that's normal this is not normal so there we go again or gnome tweaks they are starting to rename these these icons and we have to follow as icon developers <sighs> anyway don't see the reason why so that one one and then two uh, tweaks two now you don't have to wait for anybody to um, to do this to change this what you should do however oops I don't have a shortcut for our terminal yet termite of course we should do is um, install sublime text and let's see if we can do that sublime uh, I guess we install normally this one I think number one yes nope nope now why do I need sublime text is the easiest way to uh, coincide stuff that is in the user share applications with this where it is uh, forbidden actually to change anything you need to be root so with this application installed I'll redo the exercise go to the files go to other location computer if you don't want to wait for another update from Eric Dubois what you do you go to the applications here it is and for the time being tweaks now we have an image how is it possible okay now we have an image strange so open with another application sublime text yes open it up scroll down and go to the icon so this one and i don't know if this will work let's see find out together like so so org.gnu has been changed to tweaks and apparently it's not the name I have used so uh, 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 we go to the icons icons Sardi scalable apps so uh, X lots of names Ubuntu tweak I guess it's gonna be that one gnome tweak tool that's the one gnome tweak tool that's the name you need to write and then you have that icon 
GNOME Tweak Tool, GNOME Tweak Tool, this one is in here, GNOME Tweak Tool. So as you can see, they've changed their name, and that's the reason why everything breaks. GNOME Tweak Tool. And everything is nice again. Tweaks. And that's how we should proceed also for music. So music is also sublime text, Eric. Same question is always what is the name of the icon? So best guess maybe is music, but not with a capital. That would be too strange. Let's see. Music is then this one. So again, we have to look for an uh, icon, icons, here it is, always look in the Sardi ones, in the scalable, in the apps, and then start typing music, what do we get, these things, no music probably then, huh? no music, so, no dash music, yeah, that used to be the execute, uh, execute name here. Damn, I always change these things. Hopla. Broken. Cancel. So, music looks now normal. So there you go. I believe we've fixed everything. So it's that easy to change an icon if you don't like it. And the look of an icon, you give it a reference, a different reference. There's only one downside. If there comes an update, well, it gets overwritten, as simple as that. Okay, Discord is being downloaded now. <coughs> oh, variety does make things like, make uh, life light up or your desktop light up. Huh? Don't have to do anything, and there it is. So, it's gonna be a long video. I'm gonna give it a pause here. We're still uh, installing all the elements and we're waiting for everything to actually end. This is Papyrus icon theme that's going to be installed. All the information. So I'm gonna pause a little bit more. All right, finally, it finished. So this was the longest one, number 300. And we did already install hard code fixer. So we said, hey, it's already installed. So it did not reinstall. That's, that's the fun of uh, how these scripts have been created, have been built. So Discord was not having a nice uh, icon. So it does now. Discord, ah, there it is. So that's the uh, way how we communicate these days with you guys. Just a casual chat system, chat box. Not for the technical things that go on the forum. But it's a really nice thing and it really looks awesome with our uh, the look we have, the arc theme we have. It's the same dark kind of look and that's uh, it fits right in. So that's that guys. Um, this is Budgie. That's how you install it. And Control Alt T does not work. So the shortcuts and all that, all the keyboards and the tweaks, you all have, you have to make all of these. Uh, startup applications, which ones do you want to start? Plank should be started. Hey, where is Plank? There you are. So, okay, Plank uh, should be started. And then the sound and the windows and the keyboard. Lots of things you can change. The fonts, you can change it back to not all sounds. That's the general font we use in Arco Linux. But as you can see in Budgie, the standard one is Cantarell. Huh? It's all decisions you have to make and you can decide whatever you want. Um, well, basically, you're up and running. You have Budgie, you have Arch Linux and Arco Linux. Uh, a mixture of both, uh, both elements, Arch and Arco, and AUR. And you are good to go. Alright, enjoy.